This streaming service has changed date night for couples everywhere. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Netflix original couples. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at the most charming and compelling couples from original Netflix shows. We've excluded Hannah and Clay from 13 Reasons Why, as they were never officially a couple. We're also leaving out Lorelai and Luke, as their romance started to blossom before Gilmore Girls, A Year in the Life, made its Netflix debut. Number 10, Titus Andromedon and Mikey Politano, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Upon starting over in the big city, Kimmy crosses paths with several colorful characters. You wanna go out for a drink sometime? Are you asking me out, you tasty little Bob the Builder? One of the first New Yorkers she runs into is her future roommate, Titus, who is incredibly open about his sexual orientation. Kimmy also briefly meets a construction worker named Mikey, who she inadvertently helps come out of the closet. Um, the thing is, I, I, I think that I envy women because they can be with men. And I've never said this out loud before, but I think that's what I want too. The stars align when Titus and Mikey later bump into each other, leading to a relationship. Their personalities might be different, but that's largely why Titus and Mikey balance one another out so well. And if we go to a gay bar, can I get a beer? And which one of us opens doors for the other? Or are there no doors? Through Titus, Mikey realizes that he needs to learn to love himself. Through Mikey, Titus realizes that he needs to learn to love somebody other than himself. And I can't take on a project like that unless you're willing to... Number 9. Dylan Witter and Evie Douglas. Lovesick. Last night was amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With a title like Lovesick, it only makes sense that this British sitcom would largely revolve around a will they or won't they relationship. A romantically challenged man who contracts an STI, Dylan is constantly looking for love in all the wrong places. I'm in love with you. Can we get out of here? If only he wasn't oblivious to the fact that his good friend Evie has feelings for him. A mix of confusion, fear, and bad timing continually drives these clueless romantics apart as they date other people. There's a lot to talk about. I know. Make a start tomorrow. Of course, that just makes the audience want to see them get together more. It goes to show that love is never easy, even when two people appear to be made for each other. So could we just not think any further than a cup of tea? Number 8. Sheila and Joel Hammond, Santa Clarita Diet I love your hair. Sheila and Joel are a fairly ordinary suburban couple, but there's one little twist. Sheila is a zombie. Well, zombie might not be the right word, but the fact that she eats human flesh does have a significant impact on her family life. You need to fight this a little. Be a little less impulsive. I'm hungry. Under these bizarre, if not horrifying circumstances, most spouses would run for the hills. But as startled as Joel is, he loves his wife and wants to make things work, even if it means becoming an accessory to murder. As disgusting as matters can get, Sheila and Joel's natural chemistry makes for a surprisingly relatable love story. If they can deal with this relationship hurdle, there's nothing these two can't overcome. So, I was thinking, if we're gonna do this, we have to do it right. We can't just kill anybody. We have to kill someone who won't be missed. Someone without a family. Number 7. Jessica Jones and Luke Cage Jessica Jones Jessica and Luke are both broken human beings, which is ironic since one possesses super strength and the other is practically invincible. If you went up against either of these defenders in battle, you'd be lucky to walk away with just a few broken bones. Why does it matter? Maybe I can make it right. When Jessica and Luke reveal their vulnerability to one another though, they begin to mend each other's broken hearts. Unfortunately, it turns out that Jessica actually had a hand in a tragedy that sent Luke down a dark path. We wish these two heroes would work things out and get married like in the comics. Even if they don't, however, Cage and Claire still make a pretty awesome pair. Number 6. Nomi Marks and Amanita Neitz Kaplan, Sense8 As transgender women, Lana and Lily Wachowski have emerged as two of the most influential figures of the LGBTQ community. Through Sense8, which they co-created with J. Michael Straczynski, the filmmaking siblings have addressed numerous themes regarding sexuality, gender, and identity. we have had a lot of different lives. So have you. Me? I've been working at the same bookstore since you met me. They've also created a diverse group of characters, including this irresistible couple. Born Michael Marks, Nomi is a trans woman who finds a kindred spirit in Amanita. This is our life now. 
is our new normal. Usually on the same wavelength and practically inseparable, Nomi and Amanita always have each other's backs. Whether they're standing up to prejudice or government agents, their relationship is based on trust, honesty, and mutual respect, demonstrating that true love comes in a variety of shapes and sizes. Will you marry me? <laughs> Number five, Piper Chapman and Alex Voss. Orange is the new black. Let's get out of here. Are you okay? Piper and Alex have a complicated relationship to say the least. Almost 10 years after breaking up, Piper lands behind bars for helping Alex smuggle drug money back in the day. Adding insult to injury, Piper must serve time at the same prison as her ex. While Alex has made life hell for Piper on more than one occasion, you can see why these two are drawn to each other nevertheless. I want to taste what you taste like. In a prison full of unstable criminals, they stand out as two of the more level-headed inmates, helping to maintain each other's sanity. Shifting between being enemies, friends, and lovers, they may bring out the worst in each other, but they also bring out the best. Number four, Mike Wheeler and Eleven, Stranger Things. Maybe we can go to the snowball together. Mike and Eleven certainly make for a strange pair, which is only fitting given this show's title. One's an everyday boy who spends his time playing D&D &D in the basement. The other is a lab experiment with a limited vocabulary and psychokinetic powers. Despite coming from different worlds, the two share an instant connection that can only be described as adorable. Where others may view Eleven as a monster, Mike sees the gentle, misunderstood person inside. In addition to teaching Elle about the meaning of friendship, he also opens her eyes to the concept of romance. When the two finally get to share a dance at the snowball, it's impossible not to say aww. Number 3. Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. The Crown. On one condition. That you kneel. Elizabeth and Philip are one of the most unique couples on our list, as they're based on real-life monarchs. Granted, not every scene in The Crown is grounded in documented fact. Even when the show takes liberties, however, the portrayal of their marriage feels eerily authentic. Oh. She could get on her knees. Being married to the Queen of England, Philip constantly feels inadequate and emasculated. No matter what Philip does, he'll always live in his wife's shadow. This leads to numerous power struggles and possibly even infidelity. Knowing that they can't get a divorce though, Elizabeth and Philip must remind themselves why they fell in love in the first place, making for a fascinating dynamic. The only person I have ever loved is you. And can you honestly look me in the eye and say the same? Number two, Mickey Dobbs and Gus Cruikshank. Love. Maybe in a year, if, if you're willing, I would love to get maybe a coffee with you. And Of all the characters on this list, these two might be the most dysfunctional. Mickey is a recovering addict, while Gus is a socially awkward nerd. Together, they actually manage to keep each other grounded, inspiring them to become better people. At the same time, Mickey and Gus can be a toxic combination with disastrous results. What is up? I thought we had a good time the other night. Did we not have a good time? Their relationship ranges from being cute to being cringeworthy, leaving the audience with very conflicted feelings. Even when they're at their absolute worst though, they still draw us in with their down-to-earth nature. We may not want to admit it, but we've all been in a relationship reminiscent of Mickey and Gus's, reminding us just how complex love is. I don't want to do any more non-exclusive bullshit that ends today. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Maybe you're not so dumb. Electronatrons. Matt Murdock. I feel the same. <laughs> Number one, Kelly and Yorkie, Black Mirror. We have to dance to this. With each other? Uh huh. In most episodes of Black Mirror, creator Charlie Brooker explores how technology can blow up in humanity's face. In the primetime Emmy-winning San Junipero, however, technology is utilized to make heaven a place on Earth. At the center of this paradise is a romance that defies space and time. The episode offers some intriguing conversation pieces about life, death, and reality. I wasn't prepared for you, for wanting something so Yet, it's the poignant, genuine romance between the shy Yorkie and the outgoing Kelly that keeps the audience hooked every step of the way. Even if you took out the sci-fi elements, this would still be a gripping love story. The same can be said about Amy and Frank's relationship in Hang the DJ. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.